we have salvation, but they have condemnation. Uh, we have light, but they have darkness. We have life, but they have death. So there's not really any middle ground when it comes to what we're going to talk about tonight. To have Christ is to have life and light. To be without Christ is to be without light and without life. And I know it's very interesting. I don't know if you guys have written, uh, read through Genesis chapter 1 in creation. Yes, it was six literal days, the seventh day God rested, but there is an absolutely beautiful picture of salvation in the six days that God created, all that we see and all that is therein, the scripture says. And I think of one part there where God says that there's going to be a difference between the night and the day. There's going to be light, there's going to be darkness. So these two things are separate. Now the world says in order to have goodness, you have to have evil. No, that's not true. In order to have light, you have to have darkness. No, that's not true either. Uh, God has always been light. God has always been pure. He doesn't need any evil to make him pure. He doesn't need any darkness to make him light. He always has been that. We understand that when we see God. In fact, the light is going to be so great in God's presence. What does the Bible say? There will be no need of a candle there or light because Jesus is the light of the city of God. That's going to be a great day. We're going to understand that. And I'm convinced that not only is Jesus going to have the light in him, that we're going to understand that whatever he's, he is and God is, but we're going to see that life and light in all the things of heaven. I believe it's going to be illuminated with God's glory as God's glory is on us. We get a little picture of that sometimes this side of heaven. Often when people rejoice in the Lord, you can see the light of God. You can see the glory of God in their eyes. Often when people are not right with God, the light becomes darkness. And Jesus warned us of that. He said what? If the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? Because the darkness, and once sin begins to creep in, it can take away that light. It can snuff out that light. 